today. We're taking a first look at the highly anticipated Bamboo Labs H2D 3D printer. This machine is loaded with impressive features like dual extrusion, a multi-material system and even a modular system for extra versatility. But here is the thing, we haven't had our hands on it just yet. So this video is based on what we know so far. Hey everyone, so there has been a lot of excitement surrounding the Bamboo Labs H2D and all the features it promises. But like many of you, we're still waiting to get our hands on it and see how it really performs. In this video, we'll break down the features we know about and give our take on what the H2D might offer, good and bad. Let's dive in. Let's start with the HD multi-material system. This is replacing the AMS system that we know. If it works as advertised, it will allow you to print with multiple types of filaments at once. Think combining ABS and PLA or even other materials in the same print. Now, there is also a chance that this system could include a filament dryer, which would be a big plus, especially for filaments like nylon or petchy that absorb moisture from the air. That said, we don't know for sure yet whether the dryer will be fully integrated or it will be a separate option. Another feature that's getting a lot of attention is a dual nozzle design. The idea here is pretty straightforward. You can print with two different materials or colors in a single print without losing too much time, which can be especially useful for printing like dual color models or using support materials that are easy to remove. Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one-stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small-run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints or CNC millings in PLA, ABS or aluminium and a whole rainbow of colour options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders and total control throughout. Contact our design team at PCBWay.com. However, while dual extrusion sounds great on paper, it's not always as flawless in practice. We haven't had the chance to test the H2D yet, but in our experience, dual extrusion systems often require a lot of tweaking. From nozzle alignment to filament adhesion, the process can be tricky especially when working with different types of filaments like ABS, PLA, PETG or even TPU. So we're curious to see how easy this system is to set up and how it performs once we get our hands on it. Now let's talk about the modular system. One of the things that makes the H2D stand out is that it's not just a 3D printer, it's a modular platform. The laser engraver module is one of the most intriguing additions. From what we know, the laser engraver is likely a 10 watt model, which is standard for engraving or light cutting. But there are rumors of a potential 20 watt version. If this is true, it would make the H2D even more versatile, but we'll have to wait and see. That said, keep in mind that modular system can be a bit of a double edged sword. Yes, they offer more customization, but they also come with additional costs. The laser engraver is an add-on, so if you want to use it, you'll need to purchase it separately. And of course, it might not be available right away, so you'll have to plan for it if it's something you're interested in. When it comes to the connectivity, the H2D seems to have all the modern features you'd expect. It integrates with the Bamboo Labs cloud system, allowing for remote monitoring and Wi-Fi connectivity, and perhaps Ethernet? Now the price. We don't have the exact numbers yet, but based on the features, we can expect the H2D to be priced at the higher end of the 3D printing spectrum. Between the dual extrusion system, modular features and the laser engraving module, this isn't going to be a budget machine. If the HD multi-material system and laser engraver modules perform as promised, it might justify the price tag. But like we said earlier, modular systems can be expensive and you'll likely need to purchase extra components to get the most out of this machine. 
So it really depends on whether you'll need all these extra features. So, is the Bamboo Labs H2D the future of 3D printing? Well, from what we can see so far, it certainly looks promising. The multi-material HD system, dual extrusion and modular options all offer some great features. But until we've had a chance to test the printer ourselves, we can't make a final judgment. We're excited to get our hands on it and put it through the paces. In the meanwhile, let us know your thoughts. Do you think the h 2 will live up to the hype? Or do you have some concerns about the features we've discussed? Drop your comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on the Bamboo Labs H2D and other 3D printing news. See you next time. Bye!